What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to check out a different kind of extension. This extension allows you to view and edit your models inside virtual reality. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So a lot of you know that I'm a big fan of virtual reality. I've upgraded all my hardware and I consistently use my Oculus Rift headset for gaming as well as occasionally using it for architectural visualization. So in this video we're going to check out VR Sketch which is quickly growing to be one of my favorite VR apps for SketchUp. VR Sketch is actually an extension within SketchUp that allows you to not only navigate into your models, but actually create and edit geometry straight from inside your VR headset. So you can download the extension from within the SketchUp extension warehouse or by visiting the sketchupessentials.com slash VR Sketch. It works for both the Oculus Rift as well as the HTC Vive. And the way it works is you install the extension within SketchUp and then you open the model you'd like to view and click the button for send to VR. This opens up the VR sketch window and allows you to send your model to your Oculus Rift headset. This kind of reminds me of the Lumion link um, in that uh, you're working inside a Unity window or a VR window, but it's linked back to SketchUp. So if you make changes within your model, um, things actually are reflected within VR, or if you make things from within VR, um, the changes are actually reflected within your model. So there's really two different ways you can experience your models, either from what's called the warehouse view, where you're standing in a warehouse building looking around your model, um, like it's on a table in front of you, or by actually teleporting into your model, allowing you to experience your models at true scale. Movement can be controlled either by using the two grip buttons to rotate around your model, or once you teleport into your model, there's a 90 degree right and left snap turn, which makes the experience really comfortable. It's really easy to teleport into a spot and then rotate to the left or right. And again, this is a very comfortable experience even for someone like myself who's been known to suffer from some VR motion sickness in the past. Um, performance seems to work really well. I took an unoptimized 3D warehouse model and brought it into VR Sketch and didn't have any issues. I can tell you that it's a little bit of a surreal experience actually stepping into a model that I've done renderings from in the last week. So being in this room, because I'd done some different uh, like Enscape rendering things in the room, it was very strange to actually be inside the room that I'd actually rendered before, but it was a very cool experience. So this is great for just navigating around your model, but now I want to talk about one of the more interesting aspects of this tool. You can actually use SketchUp's modeling tools inside this program. So you can draw, move, push, pull, and more to allow you to create new geometry and edit existing geometry within the program. You can push pull faces, scale objects, move vertices, draw lines. Most of the tools that you can use in SketchUp are also available inside VR Sketch. In addition, things like material selection and access to all of your different materials and the paint bucket tool are also contained within VR Sketch. So you can make changes and paint faces and do things like that. And finally, all of these changes are actually reflected inside your SketchUp model. So as you make changes in VR Sketch, you can see that they get changed inside SketchUp as well. So in addition, you can also add and remove different components from your VR window. So if something is in your model, and that's, that's the trick is it does have to be something that's in your model, but you can use that to bring in more copies of that geometry. So there's also a feature coming soon that allows multiple people to work in the same model remotely, which could be really interesting for design professionals. So from a cost standpoint, this extension is five euros a month for hobby users and 30 euros a month for a commercial license, which is very affordable for both in my opinion. It seems like kind of a no brainer if you have any kind of studio to be able to have this tool and be able to use it. There's also a 14 day free trial, so I'd recommend you download it and give it a shot. Um, you can find more info about VR Sketch at the sketchupessentials.com slash VR Sketch. Personally, having tested many different VR apps, I really like what this one is doing. It's not just another VR viewer, but instead it's a tool that actually allows you to get into your models and make changes, which makes it a lot more engaging and fun process.
So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Have you tested this extension? Are you using VR for anything? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.